Hello everyone, and welcome back to Wolf Quest 3, where we are here with our Generation 4 heiress, Rosetta, and her brand new, absolutely amazing mate, Troyus. Yeah, I, I'm still kind of stunned that we managed to go from basically hunting the very first cow elk that Rosetta ever needed to find on Amethyst Mountain in day one, and then day two, finding a four-star mate with Troyus. Like, what is that even about? What on earth? Like, she doesn't even need food. Rosetta's just ready to go. She is ready to work her way over to the creek and get ready to have some children of her own. Um, wow. So, we're gonna go ahead and we're going to start following the star that's on the compass to get to the creek and get ready to start discovering a potential den site for Rosetta. But I wonder if this is where things are about to get extremely difficult for this beautiful wolf. Because, my friends, we cannot look at the map. Somehow, Rosetta, who so far has blown us away with being able to just take control of her world so perfectly, somehow she is going to need to find a way to potentially, <laughs> hopefully and potentially, uh, find her den without a map. And without me being able to like look at the map, I'm a little nervous about that, I'm not going to lie. Uh, that could be a little bit of an issue as things go on. Uh, however, we're just going to do our best. I don't know how the perks are going to work. Like if we move... Oh, wait. Whoa! It's not your birthday yet. When that day comes, just before your pups are born, you can advance to age three and choose new perks. <gasps> oh, look at the fun parent clout! Oh my gosh, that would be so fun! Look at that! Social and play emotes boost pack affinity faster. Pups never get tired of socializing, so there's no cooldown period. That would be so cool! We could also make her faster if we felt like she needed to be faster. Stronger, have more stamina, have more health, or just youthful prowess. More likely to have a larger litter of pups next year. Sick pups are more likely to recover. Competitors are more likely to flee. Um, competitors are more frightened when you snarl or growl at them. Prospective mates are more interested when you meet. More rival wolves are courtable. What? That's so cool. Man, can you imagine like a huge litter? I want Rosetta to have a huge litter. I think that sounds amazing. I think, I don't know why, just a wonderful, lush, abundant litter that we could potentially have with Rosetta just makes my heart sing. A big garden of puppies. She just is honing in on going to the creek, like even though she doesn't have a good sense of direction, she's like a homing pigeon like ready to have her babies, ready to go. Troyus is at our side. These two are extremely playful and I love just being able to stop and just letting them enjoy life together. This is amazing. I mean, look at that goofball. How could we not just be having the best time of our life with him? Cause he's just ready to play. Look at these two. They're just so playful. I love it so much. And they just love each other. Their pack affinity is like already maxed out. His tail is always non-stop wagging. He's got a beautiful coat and he has four stars. My jaw is just like on the ground. This is amazing. But all right, like a little homing pigeon, even though she can't remember basic things like, you know, wherever that creek was to get a drink from or where on earth potentially her den is. Ooh, that could be really scary if all we have to go off is the compass to find our den. Mm. We'll go ahead and for now have her hone in on trying to get to the creek, but it may take me a minute. So we'll just, we'll see how this goes. We might do a little hunting on our way there. I'm still kind of amazed. Still kind of amazed. Look at his tail! Why are you just the funniest? Atorius is just so happy. Poor Lark, it is gonna be so hard. How did you even find the easy path down the mount or like the down this little cliffside, Rosetta? That is ridiculous. She's just really good at this. We've wandered into another wolf's territory. Hopefully we won't get attacked. A little nervous about that, but we're doing okay so far. Here, we'll wiggle down over to this like open area so we can see if anyone's trying to come up behind us to chomp our necks. All right, poor Lark. He's so clumsy and just silly and goofy. And there's a whole bunch of coyotes. But he is just so clumsy and silly and goofy. And I, I just feel like Rosetta with our dark moon pack this time has already just like hitting home runs. 
and her story might become a very big set of paw prints to try to fill uh, and be compared to. So hopefully Lark will be able to do just as well with his quest and we'll have to see what he ends up wanting to do. And we'll also have to figure out what Troyus's lifetime quest is going to be. I don't think we're really going to find out until they have puppies. But I'm going to start giving it some thought, and if you guys have some fun ideas on what you think Troyus' lifetime quest should be, do let me know. I'm kind of wondering if it should have something to do maybe with pups and sickness? I'll have to think on it. I'll have to think on it. Uh, some of you have been asking how I come up with the lifetime quests, by the way, and friends, the answer is just my imagination. I like to think about the things that are really fun to do in Wolf Quest 3. Ooh, look at that! Bison! Oh my goodness. Oh, maybe Troyus' lifetime quest will have something to do with beavers! <gasps> that might be really fun. I'm gonna have to think on that. But I try to think about, like, what's the funnest things? Are those wolves hunting? There are some wolves hunting the bison! What nonsense is this? Look at them! Wow! There's, like, a mint sass going on over here. Did the bison just kill one of the wolves? <gasps> the bison just killed one of the wolves! What on earth? The other wolf is coming back to try to fight the bison again. Are you mad? The bison just killed one of your, like, one of you. Oh my gosh. All right, let's not get too close, like, right away, but you guys, there's a dead wolf over here. There's a dead wolf! Rosetta's trying to like- No, 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 come on! Troyus, get away! I think Rosetta is suddenly struck her- Like, here's a connection we have with her cousin Lark. A sudden immense sense of fear. The bile ate dispersal males. One of them is now dead. I think this is a very humbling moment for both Rosetta and for Troyus because, like, come on! One of the, the wolves- Yeah. It's a dead wolf right over here, you guys. This is terrifying. Oh my gosh. Oh my word. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we won't get any closer. And I don't want Rosetta and her mate to like get hurt. But I think I think Rosetta just felt the first strike of fear in her heart. Seeing a wolf just die that suddenly to a bison, and now for the first time in her life, she's found a mate and love. That could be Troyus. Under under any other like day, that could be Troyus. And I think that she's starting to think like, wait, I really don't want anything bad to happen to you. And I'm pretty sure he probably feels the same way. He seems a little concerned and is keeping himself between us and the bison as well. Wow. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Okay, I think I think Troyus's lifetime quest might actually have something to do with being able to hang out with and take care of his mate. I just I really sense that. We're gonna have to we're gonna have to come up with a fun one. Whew. Man. No wonder Lark is so afraid of bison. It was really driven into him as a young pup to be very afraid of those gigantic bison and the dangers that they present. I guess no one ever really got that through the Mile 8 wolves' heads. Huh. And I think this would begin a conversation between Troyus. Oh. Look, he got his own lucky rabbit's foot! I'm so proud of him! Oh my goodness! <laughs> but I think this would definitely start a, start a conversation between Troyus and between... There we go. And between Rosetta about what they could try to do to stay safe, what they could try to do to make sure that, uh... What, who's that down there? Is that another boulder beast just chilling down here? But what they could try to do to stay safe, what they could try to do to hunt effectively together, to protect one another, to even protect their pups. There's more bison! There's more bison! All right, this area feels a little dangerous. We're gonna start leaving the bison alone. Let's carry on to the trees and then maybe let them sleep because they're getting very tired. And then we'll see if they can cross the river and get themselves to the creek to get ready to pick out a den and have their puppies in no time. I'm really flummoxed. 
I've never had such a powerful wolf, but I think that seeing a wolf die right in front of her eyes to a bison like that... Hmm... That would definitely be humbling. Alright, let's go ahead and let her rest over here. Let's go ahead and be so glad that he's okay. There we are. And then we're going to go ahead, catch up on a little bit of sleep. I really feel like Troyus' lifetime quest might have something to do with Rosetta. Hmm. So I'm going to have to think about what we could do for him and for her. That would give us a little challenge, but not too much. There we go. There's some deer up ahead. They're just a teensy bit hungry. But it seems like it might be a good time, while the bison are potentially sleeping, to try to cross the creek and continue following the pull of her heart. That's telling her just a little bit further, a little bit farther. And she might find a lucky rabbit's foot, for one thing. But also, she might be able to find... There we go. A snack. And... The traditional moon pack territory, where she will guide her new mate back, and they will- Beaver hunting! We found a beaver trail from April through November. Beavers use such trails to find aspen and willow, which they use for food and construction materials for dams and lodges. If you want to try hunting a beaver- Okay, press control for several seconds to begin lying and wait for a beaver to come along. It might take a while. Beavers are most active at dawn and dusk, but it's worth the wait. You'll do extra damage when you bite it immediately after lying and wait. What? What does a beaver trail look like? Troyus, are we going to do something with beavers? I don't smell anything. Troyus, do you think we're going to sneak up on a beaver? I really want to... Maybe it's something to do with beavers. Alright. But where's the beaver trail? Troyus is laying in wait, too. Hmm... Oh, look at us! We're sneaky! Okay, so there's a beaver trail somewhere, but it might take a long time to find a beaver. Huh. Well, let, we're gonna wait for just a minute, lie and wait, and see. I don't smell anything just yet, but the potential is here. It's probably the wrong time of day for them to be able to hunt any beavers. But somehow, I just feel like these two, if they're not prompted by hunger and they feel kind of at peace with the world, are spending all of this time kind of talking and getting to know each other. To, to think about, like, what their future might look like together. <gasps> A beaver is approaching! Hold, press and hold sh shift to keep very still so it does not spot you. Okay, keep pressing that button until it comes close, then launch your attack. Okay. We're, it's behind me. The beaver's behind me. What do I do? I think I got the beaver! What the heck? What the heck? It's our first beaver! Get it, get it, get it, get it, get it! Oh my gosh! Oh, he got away. Oh my gosh, that was so cool! <laughs> <laughs> so you have to make sure that that beaver does not- Okay, there's the beaver again. If I lie and wait, can we get the beaver? Come on, you guys, get back down. Alright, alright, alright. We're locked in on the beaver. Are we going to be able to catch it? He's gone. Aw, man, that was really cool! Alright, we might try that again, because I feel like they feel that that might be a useful thing to do. And I wonder if maybe that would be Troyus's way of trying to show that he's building a good home with her. So maybe we'll go for somewhere that might have a lot of beavers. That might be a fun quest to be able to have with him. I wonder how easy they are to hunt. We're going to have to go ahead and give it another try. Oh, <gasps> there's another beaver coming! All right, guys, we'll see if we can get this one next time. So if you guys could, do please leave a like for Troyus and for our wonderful Rosetta, who seem to be very serious about being in love and building a family together. And if you would like to join us on this and literally thousands more adventures, do please consider subscribing. But most importantly, my friends, stay curious, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.